Oh, that is a noisy radiator, isn't it? Uh, hi everyone, you may have noticed that I'm not actually in my house. Uh, and that is because I have moved house while my house is being renovated, which is really, really bad timing as my bump is getting much bigger. Um, I'm into the third trimester now with my pregnancy and I don't think my house is gonna be ready before I have the baby, which is really, really bad news. Um, and also we can't stay here for the whole length of time until I have the baby either. So we're gonna be moving again, one way or another. Um, so anyway, today's video is just a little vlog to fill you in. Oh, Dexter, you're lying on my feet. And uh, I whiz you around this house, my, my barn. Uh, Caroline Hirons is on her way, as I speak, because we're gonna film loads of videos. So I need to get ready for her as well. And, um, if there's room at the end of this video I might show you lots of people wanted to know what was in my beauty cabinet in my old beauty room and so I did film it because I thought I should do it before it all gets emptied out and changed and um, so I probably will squeeze that onto the end but for now let's have a little look around um, where I'm living it's got this lovely big window over here and you can see my cactus collection um, but I am really, really missing home and I've only been here a week. I think I'm in a, like a nesting mode and um, I was quite upset to have to go anywhere. Kitchen, excuse the washing up, nice big kitchen. Then let's go upstairs. Oh, I've covered the sofa with, one of the sofas, with blankets. Because I don't want Dexter scratching it with his paws. Because you will, won't you? You'll scratch it with your paws. I'm going to say hello to everyone. No. So up we come. And if there was somebody down there, they could have a little wave. But there's not. That is my feather lampshade, which got broken in the move. And so Mr. AMR is going to fix that for me. Um... This is the main bedroom, which is a complete tip because I haven't finished off my unpacking yet. So I've just got loads and loads of stuff. And that's where I've been doing my makeup, but I really need to tidy up in here. It's terrible. And then there's a bathroom through there and a wardrobe. And then through here we have um, a spare bedroom and another little bathroom. And then outside, we have the farm, which is a proper working farm. So yes, there you have it. Let's take a little look inside my beauty cabinet. I'll try and edit it down. If you remember, it was the glass cabinet that was behind me in nearly all of my beauty videos. Uh, it's just a Expedit, I think, bookcase from Ikea that had glass doors put on it. Um, and I don't know whether I'm gonna keep it or not. Depends what they do with my new beauty studio when they've built it. We'll see what happens. So, top floor, ding ding! Um, we have Chanel Coco Noir, which is a gorgeous perfume, um, but it's like a little concentrated perfume, this one. So you get like a tiny amount in there, just a couple of drops. But it's like a perfume oil that you just need a drop and that's it, and then it kind of lasts all day. So, that is that. Then we have um, a special edition. This is like a bridal Jo Malone, this one, Orange Blossom, Cologne. It's not a new fragrance, but the bottle design is new, and you can get that from May, I think, but I just thought that was really pretty. Luke's Body Oil with Gold in, and then behind that um, is the best Orange Blossom body lotion in the world. Is that focusing? And you can just about see La Vie Belle there, Long Con, which I love. This florist perfume was kind of hand blended for me in their um, shop. You can go as a perfume experience and it's really, really good. Highly recommend that if you ever need a present for somebody or something like that. Um, behind here we have Balenciaga's Rosa Botanica, which is gorgeous, like a dirty rose scent. I love dirty rose. And then I've got loads of Rogeri Galet back there. 
um, like body oil sprays and fragrances and stuff like that. Oh, I'm getting arm ache. Do, 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 do. Next one down. Philosikos, which is a fig fragrance from Diptyque, absolutely gorgeous. A huge bottle of um, number five, which I very, very kindly got from Chanel for my birthday a couple of years, a few years ago actually now. That's a whopping great bottle. Chanel number no. 5, I have to say, is not my favourite Chanel fragrance by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but, you know, what a gorgeous, what a gorgeous gift. Really great bottle. Jo Loves, which is a new white rose and lemon leaves, which is very fresh for spring. Absolutely love that. White Fig and Cassis. Oh, sorry, Wild. Wild Fig and Cassis, Jo Malone. Um... This is Jean-Paul Gaultier Intense, which I love. Don't like the original whatsoever, but I like that one. And then back there, if we zoom in, you can see a bit of Marnie Rose, Tom Ford Neroli, Neroli Portofino. Oh, this deserves a mention. Right, when I was a teenager, I loved the smell of the Body Shop Satsuma stuff. And um, I don't think they had an eau de toilette in them days. So long ago. So when they bought one out, I had to have it. And if I never spray it on my body, but I use it as a room spray for if I need cheering up, because it just reminds me of really lovely, happy school days with friends and stuff. So that is the top two floors. Boop, 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 down to lingerie and hats. You know that I love by Terry makeup. This is by Terry fragrance. Big old whopping bottle there. And then we've got Chanel Beige behind, which is lovely. Again, one of those tiny little concentrated perfumes. Um, Angel, which I don't really like that much. I love the body lotion, which I have down here. But I'm um, not so keen on the perfume for some reason. This is uh, very cool from Cult Beauty. Little tiny, tiny nail polishes. And they come in this... I don't know, I just thought it looked like something from a medicine cabinet, so that's in there. Um, Agent Provocateur, a bit more Joe Malone back there, which I'm not sure what it is. Interestingly enough, my favourite Joe Malone fragrance isn't in the cupboard, which is um, Oud and Bergamot, or Bergamot and Oud, whichever it is. So that's... Ooh! Hold on a second. I really can't believe my luck. What are they doing in there? Pink Champagne Truffles. I can't get over how lucky that is. That's amazing. Um, what a find. I'll be having those later. Some Chloe. Some Fake Roses. Um, another Jo Malone. And then we've got some 1932 Chanel, which I do quite like. Uh, Le Petit Robe Noir. Petit Robe Noir. Um, Oud Ispahan. Just poking there. That's Dior. Very, very lovely. We've got a little miniature Jo Malone bath. Oh, there's a lot of Jo Malone. I know I keep saying that, but it's true. And then a special edition rose Jo Malone. Not that keen on red roses for the body from Jo Malone, but I like the bottle. It was a, I think it was a Charlotte Stockdale one, so it stays. Right, oh, I'm going to have to crouch down over the baby bump. And um, we have a Coco Mademoiselle purse spray here from Chanel. We've got loads and loads of L'Occitane almond stuff because I just absolutely love it. It's really gorgeous. Um, so we've got a milk veil, we've got the milk concentrate which is my favourite body cream possibly ever in the world. And then we've got some soap that I took from a hotel. Little Diptyque candle, miniature. Some steam cream which is like a multi-purpose cream that people go mad for um, and kind of one cream suits all type of thing and then some Tom Ford Suntel blush there I love collecting little miniature perfumes but I forget to take them out of the boxes they're so so pretty so when I reset up my cupboard I would definitely display them properly in the back there I can just see a bath oil and then this which is a Gianni Rose Atelier soap um, that I must have had for about pff, 
six or seven years and it's just too pretty to use but I think all the smell's gone out of it so that's not very good and that my people is pretty much it and that is it that is it for the moment isn't it yes because Caroline's on her way um, and I just wanted to really update you obviously Dexter is here with us in the barn look Dexter what's that look no 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 look at this no <laughs> look what's that look here no oh, doesn't get it deaf dog uh he's here but mr bear is not lots of people thought mr bear had gone on his holidays because i was pregnant um no 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 that's nothing to do with it it's because we couldn't have a cat um in any of the short let places that we found to rent and it was the same for this one just didn't want cats so uh really very very sadly he's off up at my mum's and um we really miss him so yeah look out for the videos i'm about to film with caroline um sorry <laughs> it's a really odd background to have behind me isn't it with my post bag and all that kind of stuff um Sorry I haven't filmed in a while, it's just been really manic, but back on track now and of course you can see uh, a post every day on my website as well. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one.